the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show with Billy the Kid and Scott Tang. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah? It's the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah! What's up? I'm Scott. And I'm Bill. And this is the, the Bill and Scott, Scott Cubicle Show. Show. Happy number 144. And we got a lot to get to today. Cardi Tasty B treats. announced the name of her album and when that's coming out. Beyonce was bit in the face. We're going to talk about that. Chance the Rapper making some noise right now. Bringing to light some situation that's going on. Um, Justin Bieber talk. We got some bad jokes on the way, but what we've been talking about before the show and uh, a little bit is ketchup slices. We got a lot of stuff about putting things in your mouth yeah. on today's episode. Okay, <laughs> so here's, here's the deal. Um, there's this Kickstarter where these dudes, they call it... Uh, I should have scrolled up. Yeah, you should be prepared here, um, but of course he's not. Slice of sauce. So slice of sauce. And it is... Uh, what is it? He yeah, doesn't slice know. Of, so I thought it was called something different. I just I just read it was like Bose something or other. Well, anyways, no, there's these yeah, ketchup slices slice out of sauce. there, and I guess you can buy them. They're the Kickstarter campaign. And how much is it for a package of eight? It is ten dollars for an eight pack of these slices of ketchup. Now this, this Kickstarter is already fully funded. They were looking; their goal was fifteen thousand dollars, and they've already wow. got twenty thousand of that fifteen. Um, the, the minimum pledge is like $5 and then you're just like, Hey, thank you for your donation. But if you pledge $10, you get an eight pack of slices. If you pledge $25, you get three packs of eight of eight. So that, that's a little bit better value. This comes out to for the base model pricing, a dollar 25 per slice of ketchup. I got a Which is, few go questions ahead. about this. Go ahead. What are they? First of all, how does this stay solid without they, they, their their promise, their guarantee is that it doesn't run and it doesn't separate? The only thing, the only way I can think of, and you mentioned this earlier, was that they keep it cold. Gorilla yeah. glue. Gorilla glue. Jay <laughs> yeah. says gorilla glue. I would think that the, keeping it cold would have to be the answer to it. Right. Or is it more tomato y? Well, I tomato y as opposed to tomato. Oh, it's I don't know. Maybe it's more. <laughs> Texture stuff from tomatoes. To oh, keep it oh, solid. more like a vegetable yeah. than a condiment. Mm-hmm. Okay. No matter how you slice See, it, I don't. I don't it's know. Still gonna be I, so. It sounds off-putting to me. I don't want to eat a cold ketchup slice. If you could serve it room temperature, then I feel like that would be that would be fine. But I don't want a cold. I don't want a piece. You know, like I don't want a piece of cheese that tastes like ketchup. That's basically yeah. what I'm saying. To me, it just sounds disgusting. And then uh, just a second ago, John was over here and he was like, oh, like a fruit by the foot roll it, it up. Looks and like that a fruit just roll like, up. Look makes that. me disgusted It looks like a salty, right there. savory oh. fruit roll up. Like imagine you take your six foot of fruit roll up and you, boom, unwind it and you got all this ketchup you eat. Oh. Technically, tomato is a fruit. So you could call these a fruit roll up. Oh my God. Slap that on your burger, but I won't be getting any because. Eight twenty or a dollar twenty-five per slice is too much for me. Although, let me tell you the oh, yeah. highest tier of the rewards. What's the highest if tier of the reward? One hundred and fifty dollars or more, you get a forty-five minute ride with other slice fans on Soul Cycle, plus a goodie bag filled with slice of sauce and a water bottle. <laughs> so. Damn, that that's that's just ridiculous. I don't know why why this is gonna happen, but there's a chance that we might get some and sample it. And uh, shout out to Kyle. He just commented, that's fruit by the foot, Scotty. Yeah. But doesn't it say six feet of, like, stuff? Like, fruit by the stuff? foot is three feet. Yeah, but doesn't it say something on the side there? I don't really know. I thought it said, like, six feet on the side when you unroll it. But whatever. That's neither here or there, and who cares, really? Well, fruit by the foot was twice as long when we were twice as short. Oh, so yeah. maybe it seemed like there we go. Are you Jay? Are you making this, your own slices? This, these are the yeah. This is the real McCoy. No matter how you slice it, these are still tomatoes. Yeah, they're still tomatoes. These and are not the real McCoy. Yeah, oh, well, not this is not you. it's not ketchup. Yeah, no fabric included. Perfect. All right, so Beyonce got bit in the face here, dude. This is uh, a this is crazy in a sense. All right, so you remember how Tiffany Haddish said a couple, like it was a month or two ago when she was talking about how this woman went up and she put her hand on Jay's chest and Beyonce came out of nowhere and was like, that's my man, right? Yeah. And then uh, then that's when you had her sister come storming in and lay the fisticuffs. Right. No. 
That's not when really, you get you get Solange to come in and lay the smack well, down. Allegedly now, and then in the new song that comes out, uh, that what's that one song? Um, um, Top Off, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Beyonce says. Wait, you got the you got yeah. the. And Top Off. <laughs> Beyonce says you party with the queen, you're gonna need to sign a disclosure, and everybody says that's a shot at Tiffany for telling the story about putting the hand on his chest, Ooh. right? It's just my excuse to touch Bell here today. Uh, <laughs> your, your reaction afterwards is hilarious. Feels good. All right. Um, well, anyways, now Tiffany Haddish is claiming that someone at the same party was all drugged up, had to be on bath salts. I was going to say, is this a bath salts? Is this, remember the freaking bath salts? Right. And they bit Beyonce in the face. Now, uh, she wouldn't say who this actress was, but uh, she didn't appreciate being bitten. Uh Go figure. And uh, but she was willing to let it go. Now, do you think that this was somebody like Beyonce knows, cares about? Had to be somebody that she's close with if she is willing to let it go. Or is this just a completely made up story? Isn't Tiffany Haddish the one who said you should drink turpentine for a cold? Is that her? She's the one that's wearing the same dress to all the award shows. Yeah, Tiffany Haddish thinks drinking turpentine cures a cold. Yeah, I read that earlier this morning. I don't think you should trust anything that anyone says who thinks you should drink a teaspoonful of turpentine and says that the only reason it's not okay is because the government doesn't want you to know that it cures a cold. Yeah. That's bad. That's a bad idea. It's not good for your insides. That stuff's freaking paint remover, right? Yeah. I, You're not – don't – do not. I don't, I don't say do that. That's probably worse than a Tide Pod. But I will say is that Tiffany Haddish is a comedian, so right. there's a lot of stuff she's so just she's, saying to get a right, reaction. Right. And, like when she said she was going to freaking – Hook up with um, Brad, Pitt. Brad Pitt when she said she was. They were gonna. Oh. <laughs> is that? I'm, I'm, I can't. I can do this on the radio because nobody can hear it. Yeah. So uh, by that logic, I should be allowed to do it right here, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, all right. Well. Um, so I also say is that even if this is true and Tiffany Haddish gets banned for the rest of her life from all these A-list stories, I think she's got enough material that's just going to last her. Like, she's good. Like, who cares if she gets invited back? Because now she can joke around about Beyonce getting bit and some man putting – or somebody putting their hand on her man's chest. It's just – I think she's got a lot of material from this year. She's definitely gathering stuff. Wow, she's she's experiencing life the life of an A-list celebrity like you said and she's putting the material together in her workbook tall (laughs) Sean yeah all right oh man clean out the pipes that's Uh, what this motion means the pipes are dirty cleaning them out out. oh man well snake out your trumpet let's uh talk about Justin Bieber, before we get into this, Cardi B, real quick. Doot, doot. What's going on with the Biebs? All right, so Justin Bieber's got a new album on the way. This is the very album that he says he is not going to any public appearance. Oh, yeah, that was Sean McMaster, by the way, in the background there. Um, and I see that he wants to start a chat, but... Hi. Hi, Sean. <laughs> Hi, I'm trying to start a chat. I don't even know how that works, actually. Neither do I. That's, that's a new feature to the live stream. But welcome, one and all, to the chat, to the room, to the stream. Enjoy. Uh, yeah, so okay. Justin Bieber's got this album, and he won't make any public appearances until it's done. Now, a sword. Oh! Whoa! You just completely missed that! That was perfect timing for you to not see Jake pop up out of the ground. Wow. That I was an it. optical illusion of the first order. I was, it. Oh, my God! He did it again! <laughs> I, I actually did not. I don't know how he got back there to do that. Dude, you're freaking me out. What is going no, on here? I'm going to give you, like, uh, the cue to bring it down okay, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, that was okay. I apologize. I'm just looking out for you because you did kind of go super duper loud. That right? was genuine amazement. That was real. I was not. I'm not playing it up for the camera I know, yeah, I because know. I was in the middle of a very deep spiritual discussion, so, which is Justin Bieber's new music. Because apparently, on. apparently Justin Bieber is going to be getting a little bit religious with his new music, um, according to a source in the Sun. He says, Justin is on the lookout for songs which really reflect where he is in his life in terms of spirituality. Right. He's reshaping his sound so it's more in line with the church's values and oh. beliefs. So he's been with this church in California for like, really? like a year or two now. And he's like really – he's going hard in the paint. Why would he be doing that though? Why would he be with the church or why would he be repurposing his music? 
repurposing the music. Well, here's the thing is I don't think he's going to be like making Christian music. You know, there's a lot of religious artists out there that don't make religious music necessarily. You can make music with, you know, positive messages and themes and say, you know, this kind of speaks to my faith. This kind of expresses what I believe without right. being like God, Jesus, like in your face with it, right? And I think the mark of a good artist is to be able to weave symbolism into your music without it like smacking you in the face. It doesn't have to be overt like, hey, let's got it up. A music with a message but without it being beat over your head like right. you're saying. Yes, exactly. We'll see if people so, can do that. Yeah, I think that's probably what's going to be uh, probably what's going to be happening. And either way, no matter no matter how you slice it, no matter how you catch up slice it, I think that whatever Justin Bieber does, if he's stepping away from his peeing in a bucket days or his egg chucking days, then that's a good thing. Applaud him. Applaud the man. That's right. All right, so before we get into this chance to wrap her and get to the Scott's Bad Jokes and close out the show, Cardi B announced that she is going to be releasing her debut album. It's going to be called Invasion of Privacy, and it comes out next week, April 6th. So she is ready to go just in time for the summer. It'll be able to be played at the cookouts and all that type of stuff. I think this is the perfect time for Cardi to release an album, especially with Saturday Night Live mm -hmm. and... With Leland Melvin Day coming up the day after. Yes. This is Leland Melvin Day Eve that this album is coming out. So you can bump this, this all your Leland Melvin This is her thank you to Leland Melvin. Melvin. Yes. And I, I appreciate that. I'm just curious about the album title, Invasion of Privacy. Is she implying that her privacy has been invaded or is she about to invade our privacy? That's my question. Ooh, I, I want to say that it's her invading our privacy. Right. But I don't think that's what it means. But then I ask her, if you're saying Invasion of Privacy... I mean, you were a stripper, you, so you like put, you were she, kind of putting your stuff out there already. If she's saying that her like maybe like her life has been changed because everybody's now all up in her business, she put herself out there. She you can very clearly tell mm. that that's exactly what she wanted from the get go. She yeah. wanted to be a star. She wanted to be famous. She wanted to be a rapper, and now she's got it. So and that hair just looks really. It reminds me of a like a, a McNugget buddy from the mid nineties. Do you think what's she doing with that hair? Do you think she's more of a checker or a chess? Woman, um, oh, based yes. on this, I'm gonna, yes, um, yeah, what, what, um, I think more of a nun, yes, a nun. Yeah, that's a reference to what we were talking about yesterday after the cubicle show doesn't make any <laughs> yeah, sense. That's right. We were talking about nun sex yesterday. <laughs> All right, Chance the rapper is speaking of nun sex. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so there's this Heineken commercial that Chance the rapper put on blast on Twitter for being racist because. Um, long story short, they have a bottle of Heineken light and their slogan is lighter is better. And the bartender slides this, this beer bottle down the bar and it goes past several black people before ending up at a girl who's, they, st uh, the article I read said like a light skinned black girl, but she really looks more like a almost Asian, like maybe Hawaiian type, like she's definitely lighter skin. Um, but so like chance the rapper is, I don't have the tweet. I should have pulled the tweet up. Uh, do you have it? I think I do. I don't have it. All right. Well, either way, he's he's like he calls this it is out. racist. Yeah. And the issue here is I'm the I'll be like the first person to be like, man, everybody wants to get offended over something. But I actually think the criticism of this one is legitimate because how do you like they they pointedly show several different black people and this bottle going by them before it ends up with a person with lighter skin. Um, but then then again. I think the issue that you have here specifically is I don't think there's a good way to work that particular slogan in because let's let's say now we're going to get even we're going to get we're going to go deep we're going to go down the woke hole all right because let's say you got a bunch of white people and you slide the bottle past white people it's like well what are you trying to say there's only white people is this like a white supremacy ad okay that's bad right so what if you mix in the white people and black people what are you trying to say oh are the white people better than the black people like the, there's really no good way to go about making a commercial with a slogan like lighter is better. Now, obviously I want to say they're, they're referring to the light beer, of course, but, and I think, I think what chance the rapper was getting at was that these executives that make these ads know what they're doing. They might apologize and be like, Oh, we didn't know it would come across that way, but yet nobody's that stupid. Like that's the kind of thing where you're putting the, an advertisement like that out in front of millions of people. Like we sit here and talk like, well, what if we say this and it gets misinterpreted? You know, do we even want to talk about this? Cause it could get you in trouble. Um, you got to know 
that when you're dealing with skin color and the term lighter or the phrase lighter is better, that's a danger zone. Now, to address the beer point, and this is the true stay woke moment, what they're saying is sometimes lighter is better, like light beer is better. That's false because everybody knows light beer sucks. Furthermore, and I have this is this is verifiable. Everyone knows that beer sucks period. Beer, and this is the true stay woke moment of the day, beer is one of those things that somebody tried a long time ago and pretended to like, right? And now everybody else that ever has had a beer has been pretending to like beer ever since then because beer is freaking disgusting and there's no reason to drink it unless you're trying to get drunk really fast. If that's the case, more power to you. But if you tell me that you enjoy drinking beer, F-O-H, as they say in the business, because I do not believe you. I will there's give the, you... There's the stay woke. I'll get that for courtesy for you, but Thank I you. couldn't Thank disagree you. more. I, I knew by the look on your face. As a human trash uh, disposal, you're saying beer is disgusting? Beer is so gross. There's nothing... Milwaukee's best. What is right this? There. We got, do now, we have a can? This... Who says this? Have a drink. No. Yeah. Well, you're not old enough to drink anyway, Bill. Yeah. I will right. be soon. Yeah, gray hair. will be 21 next week. Wow, so you really okay? I agree that I mean, maybe people, light beer isn't is that like great, but today. I definitely I mean, so many things wrong with this. Uh oh, are you, t- John? Uh, so many things, John. Canceled, canceled. Wow, so we should just do one last. Are you bad telling joke me that so we're not allowed? On. Are you telling me that we're not allowed to talk about different races? I'm telling you, this is supposed to be a fun show. This is a fun show. I'm having a good time. No, you're not. You're trying. Yeah, to Kyle says he political. loves his Corona. And line, man. I'm trying so to say. I'm trying to say. There's no good way nothing, to make a commercial like that with than like with an Allagash anybody. or a, you know, a Stella. Come on. Yeah, and no, I, it's I, I kind of like Heineken Light. To be honest, there's with you. there's no. I've never right. the you Do know the best jokes and then wrap this up. You know the best beer oh, I ever man. had was Keystone because it tastes like corn and not beer. Did you? Did it not taste like a key or a stone? No, it tasted like neither. What's it like to stone a key? Okay, let's get okay. into these bad Scott's jokes. bad here. jokes. Um, Do your jokes and get going. All right, we got to wrap this up okay. because everybody hates us. These, these are really bad, <laughs> of course. Weren't you glad I met you? I, I have not yet read these. The signature, the hallmark of Scott's bad jokes. Okay. The British ta- oh hey, the British tabloid says Justin Bieber wants to do more Christian appropriate songs, but even if so, he might not do a full on Christian album. And in similar news, Gatorade wants to put more Gator in the aid. But they might not put the full alligator in the aid. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get this one. He's, he's gonna put out Christmas Chris, songs, but he may not Christian put out a whole album. But not Christian album. Yeah, but they Gator aid, but not alligator. Yeah. Just gator. Yeah, just okay. gator. All right. <laughs> You're thinking too much, man. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying know. to decide which one's the best. Yeah, because right. they're not. Which one's All the right. best bad joke out of yeah. the last two? We got three. It's like a bonus joke. Okay. There we that, go. That's more. This is... Oh, go ahead. Tiffany Haddish claims she met Beyonce at a party in December, and that same night, a drugged-up actress bit Beyonce in the face. Tiffany wouldn't say who it was, but she says Beyonce did not appreciate being bitten, but was willing to let it go. You know what else Beyonce doesn't appreciate? Tiffany Haddish being a gossiping little girl. <laughs> Uh, All right. I like that one. And the final the Even final bad joke. More of a comment than a, a joke. All right, here we go. Okay. The Stormy Daniels interview on 60 Minutes attracted 22.1 million viewers. That's its biggest audience since a 2008 interview with Barack Obama in 2008. <laughs> that was redundant. Do you think if Hillary Clinton was president, the interview with the male adult star Hurricane Dan... Would have attracted 2.8 million more voters. I mean viewers. <laughs> Hurricane Dan. All right, yeah, you picked the you picked the best one for last. You did well. That's okay. Scott's bad jokes, everybody. Oh man, Woo! there's layers to that one. Oh man, okay. that was some nonsense. Mm. Oh. <laughs> okay. With that being said, we'll be back maybe. Yeah, we'll see. Know. We'll see. We might get shelved. It was a good run while it lasted, but yeah. anyways. If we are back tomorrow, we might as well plug the show anyways. Yes. Yeah. So Monday through Thursday on the Jams 96.3 Facebook page, you can watch us live at 1030 Eastern Time. Because that's the only time zone that matters. And what if this is our only show, Bill? Oh, what our if, last show. If this is our last show, then fuck it on I don't give it up. Come on. <laughs> 